Hey guys, welcome back to Anime Forefront. This is Logan bringing you another review. And I have several points I want to jump on, but I'm just going to jump right into the good stuff. Let's get into upcoming anime. Let's check it out. So the first series I wanted to talk about was a new upcoming anime called Glepnir. It's based on the manga series by Sun Takiata, and it is set to premiere in April, and it looks super cool. I like the art style, and I think that it has a lot going for it, but see how that one turns out. Check it out in April. We also have Cells at Work Season 2. And guys, this is a series I didn't expect to be as good as it was, but... Yeah, it turned out to be great, and we have another season coming out. It is scheduled for January of 2021, so definitely keep that on the calendar and be ready for it. Next, we have Burn the Witch, which is set in almost like a reverse London. has a very cool setting and premise. Next, we have Fugo KG Balance Unlimited, which is directed by Tomiko Ito, inspired by the novel by the same name. It looks like a really cool anime with a lot of crime and intrigue, so it looks like a really cool anime. Set to come out in April, so definitely mark that one down and keep your eyes open for it. Next, we have Funimation's Listeners. Now, this is an original anime, which is really cool because we don't oftentimes get that, and it looks like a cool anime. I like the unique style, and I think it'll be an interesting world to kind of go into, so definitely keep your eyes open for that and tune into Funimation for it. And last but not least, we have Great Pretender. Now, this is my kind of anime. It's coming out in July, filled to the brim with intrigue, crime, and romance, and that is right up my alley. So I'm psyched for these anime. I think that this upcoming month is gonna have a lot of cool stuff coming out. Definitely stay tuned to your anime sites for it, and definitely be looking out for it, because it's gonna be a cool month for anime, which I think we all need. And moving on guys, we have several live action series that will be coming out, kind of in the anime world. And the first is Tokyo's Tyreba Girls manga adaptation, which is set to air this summer. It stars Nana Ikura, Yuriko Yoshitaka, and Yuko Oshima, who are all reprising their roles from the premiere of the manga's 2017 series. Also we have Kaniyoshi Izumi's Seho Boys High School live action show, which is based on the shoujo manga by the same name. This live action series adaptation of Seho Boys High School is set to star members of the Kansai Johnny's Junior Idol group, and it's set to premiere in July, so definitely keep your eyes open for that. It looks like a pretty cool set of live action series, so definitely keep those on your radar and be looking for them. And guys, the last bit of news I have for you is kind of sad. As it turns out, Hiroshi Masuka lost his battle with cancer on the 21st of March, and he was most well known for his role as Master Roshi or the Turtle Hermit in the Dragon Ball Z series. But this was just one role in a career that spanned years, and yeah, this was a big blow on the anime community because Master Roshi was always one of those characters that you could identify with and really get behind in the Dragon Ball Z series, so it was really tragic. I, I mean, me personally, I wasn't even a big Dragon Ball Z fan, and I knew who Master Roshi was. Um, so, this hit home for a lot of people, myself included, and definitely shoot love and support to the family members that have been affected by this, and to all the anime fans that are really feeling this right now. So, definitely keep them in your thoughts and prayers, guys, and yeah, definitely keep them in mind. But that's going to do it for your anime news this week, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. If you like this video, definitely like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys and all the support you're giving me. But yeah, definitely stay tuned. There's a couple of cool things going on in the anime community, and I'll keep you up to date on that. But thank you guys so much again. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. Stay away from people. It's not that hard for otakus like us, but yeah. Stay safe, guys, and we'll definitely get through this, all right? Peace out, my anime people.